Hi, Jonathan from Bright Britain here. Last weekend, I uh, went and scaled Mo Cop. Mo Cop is number 36 in Simon Warren's 100 greatest hill climbs in the UK, and uh, I'm steadily working my way through them. I went and saw a friend in Liverpool, and on the way back, I decided to give the hill a go. Uh, it rates 9 out of 10 in this book, which concerned me because that was more than Porlock. But anyway, here's the story of how it went. Morning. Um, I'm in Kidsgrove in Staffordshire and uh, about to climb Mo Cop. Uh, this scored 9 out of 10 in Simon Warren's uh, 100 Greatest Climbs in the UK. So I'm slightly nervous, I'm a bit hungover. Uh, it's definitely going to blow a few cobwebs away. Just saw some residents who have told me I'm pretty close, which is good. Um, so I'm just about to saddle up, uh, video ready, and uh, let's go and see how hard 25% and 200 metres is. Uh, yeah, it's going to be tasty. Okay, we'll catch you later. You right? Yeah. Which way's Mo Cop? Oh yeah, you know, mm. a really steep hill. It should be right over... Right, that way? Probably over there somewhere. You reckon? Right okay. over that hill. Alright, thanks a lot. Hello. Excuse me. I'm looking for Mo Cop. The big hill. Really? Yeah. Dead. Oh yeah. No, no, I'm not with them. Oh. I'm looking for the really steep part of the hill. Oh, the killer mile. Yeah. yeah. You can either go so straight up there. Yeah. yeah. And it's next left. Isn't it? Yeah. You have to go so. down each to come back up it though. Do you? Because you're up here now. Yeah, I think it, it hasn't really worked out right, so I've got to go down, am I? Yeah, unless you want to go round. Yeah, I don't know where I'm going, yeah. as you can tell. Well, you went back down to what it actually happened was that I had climbed to Mo Cop uh, around the back route and continued to work my way up uh, to the castle. It wasn't until I stopped and spoke to another couple uh, and asked them where the steep hill was that they told me. And to that end, I had to go all the way back down and um, try and find the railway line. The railway line had been described in Simon's book, uh, but I hadn't been able to locate it. Maybe I should have brought the book with me. Anyway, have a look at how the roads were. went under the railway bridge, found the railway line and then saw a signpost for the killer mile. I thought this was with reference to the bike but it's not. It transpires that Kids Grove Athletic Club run up this hill uh, every year. The, uh, the record is something like just over six minutes. Absolutely crazy. Um, but it's an annual event and this year's event is on uh, at the end of April. I traversed the hill and uh, bumped into a load of club cyclists. Uh, we had to wait for a while because there was a level crossing, the train went through and so on and so forth, and uh, I was still faffing around. Unfortunately, by this point, the movie video camera decided to stop playing. So I videoed a load of footage that actually wasn't the ascent. So uh, the train went, the barriers went up, I followed the club cyclist. To begin with, uh, it's a fairly, uh, fairly standard hill. Um, 
you ascend, turn right, turn left, uh, and then it starts getting a bit tastier. Um, already some of the club cyclists had dropped off a little. Uh, there were two that I managed to pick off in the first brow. However, uh, the hill, the proper hill, was to come. Once you climb the first brow, you just see this wall of tarmac ahead of you. There was someone, there's some older lady cleaning out her front garden and I struggled past and she said, oh, I'll keep going, keep going. Um, and I'd just overtaken these couple of cyclists, so I wanted to make sure that uh, you know, I put in a reasonable show. The rest, of the, the rest of the team were weaving their way up the top and I could see just from the way that they were wobbling that it was going to be tough. I approached the hill, saw the 25% incline and the pub uh, on the left and uh, dug in. I was already in the lowest gear. It, I had nowhere to go. I just had to stand up and grit it out. Uh, Simon reckons it's 200 metres at 25%. I have no idea if that's the case. What I do know is if it was any longer, I would not have been able to get up it. It was incredible. Lung bursting. Luckily for me, there were some cars I used as markers. Uh, so I got to the first marker, got to the second marker, and there was a car parked just on the brow. And um, that, was, that was the final uh, objective. By this time, the legs were screaming, the lungs were screaming. You know, I wasn't feeling great anyway. I'd been on the beers for a weekend. Um, and I was thinking, there's no way I'm going to stop. I got to the final brow, got to it, climbed up it, glanced over my shoulder. I had done it. Okay, I was still going uphill, but, you know, compared to the 25% we just scaled, it was not, not an issue. Got to the top, felt really, really pleased because uh, it was hard going. I was sweating profusely um, and uh, enjoyed the view. Well, I did it. Uh, just climbed my cop. There's a bunch of uh, proper folks behind me. Um, uh, that was really tough. You get to the pub and it really does incline. It's absolutely crazy. Uh, but I did it in one hit and also went straight up. No weaving, but really had to attack that last ramp. It was really, really, really gritty. Um, but uh, pleased I've done it. One hit. And uh, I guess I can go <laughs> down there now and enjoy it. Fantastic. The cops up there, actually. The folly. And uh, I'm going to enjoy going back down, back into Kids Cove. Some great views up here. And uh, I think that'll be all for the moment. Had a quick word with the um, ride club. They were just waiting for their mates to go up the hill. Uh, they all look fairly bright. They're on a 100 mile Sunday morning jaunt. I tell you, to go up that hill in the middle of their 100 mile ride is really, really good going. There is no way I could have done that. I did it relatively, I say relatively fresh. So um, nevertheless, I was still pleased with it, it was a good effort, did it from scratch, no stopping, that was what I was bothered about. Um, and then just really, really just coasted down, enjoyed the route. And um, still, I still wasn't really sure where I was going, but hey, that didn't matter. The movie video camera still wasn't working, but that didn't matter, I'd done it. Um, it only took me about five minutes to get back to the car, maybe maybe a bit longer, but not very long at all. And um, I guess I chalked that one up for the book. I'll be going to Matlock next month um, in May, um, and uh, I shall be attempting two climbs from Matlock. Um, both go from the city centre or town centre, and uh, both score pretty highly again. I think they're eight and nine out of ten, respectively. So uh, more to come on Bike Britain's greatest cycling climbs. Cheers.